Good evening. Good evening. My name is Sobin Dako. Good evening. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. And uh, it's another day we are in 2019, the year of our Lord. <laughs> and uh, I want to share uh, with you on entrepreneurs and uh, financial struggles. Entrepreneurs and financial struggles don't run away because of the debt. Uh, don't run away because of debt, because of loan, because of cash flow issues, because of difficulties, particularly if you are doing the business in our part uh, of the world, which is Ghana, or let's say Africa. A lot of the times you will hear, uh, you know, very intelligent people writing a lot you know about entrepreneurship telling us about what it takes to succeed some of them will start with a you know business plan how to make sure that you get the best of uh, the ideas to work the market there are so many people with very intelligent things but it boils down to one thing which is your ability to stay to keep going when everything seems not to work because that really is the separator or is the separating factor among all the intelligent decisions and all the financial things and the connections and all the finances the the the, the money that people will give you every business at a point in time will hit some kind of rock and uh, it's not just one it can be serious and if you look at maybe countries which have done well in terms of bringing, uh, you know, a lot of entrepreneurs who have changed the, the dynamics of their countries, you know, because most free markets uh, have been developed because they produce a lot of innovators and a lot of people who could pick ideas and bring them to the market, bring uh, improved lives, create value, create employment, you know. Uh, those people have contributed a lot to their country. Now, there are factors that... Uh, you know, would affect them because there are countries that you know that a lot of the things that they have said will make some people easily succeed in business. And a part of the world, the 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 odds are so much against a lot of us that, that that's the reality. And uh, if anybody denies it, you know, and entrepreneurship is about business. It's about idea creation. It's about innovation. It's about understanding the market and solving things that are really needed to be solved. And if you look at the economy, almost everywhere. There is a need for better product, for better services, you know. So, how? Why is it that many people, many young people, many graduates, many of these guys who seem brilliant, don't seem to, you know, stay on the course, and a lot of them would give up? If I cast my mind, a lot of my friends who we have tried to do business, you know, some of them have their own businesses, processing business, construction business, fabrication business, retail. All these guys, you know, one thing that is common that I've come to under identify is that almost all the time we had to struggle so much with the finances, with the difficulties, with the struggles, because we started with little and the and the structure and the system in the economy that we're operating still does not support a lot of us. I'm not going to blame, you just have to understand the situation and fight forward. And so I'm talking about don't run away from the debt because you'll find yourself in debt. Don't run away from the financial difficulties because they will come. Don't run away from the cash flow issues because they will come. What makes people succeed in business is because they keep on learning and they keep on going. You see, some of the people that you hear who are having difficulties with their businesses, one thing you will know is that when the problems come, it will only be you who would deal with it and i think that's why business does not look attractive to some people who have seen people who have struggled so much when it comes to entrepreneurship and so if you're going to stay you will win but as to <laughs> if you have the muzzle to stay and to keep fighting that's another thing but that's how business is it takes a lot of guts it takes a lot of craziness you probably have to be mad if you if you if you understand it from the least a point of view you probably have to be crazy to keep going when everything seems like it's not working so my name is Obeda. i'm talking about entrepreneurs and financial struggle what i've seen is that uh, you know depending on the kind of business that you start 
a business supposed to be evolved from an idea which becomes a product you find a market for it and there is there is demand and you keep growing and they pay you the perfect business will bring in a lot of money every second every minute now the thing is that most of us were not perfect most of us were not skilled when we started and so one little mistake you see yourself on the ground and sometimes you can be there for years now how do you go through those periods where everything seems not to work it's not just that you don't even have business money to grow your business. You will probably find yourself owing people. And the debt can come from any form, any form, any form. It can come from the people you made to do work for you, which you didn't pay, the materials that you credited that you, you didn't pay. You work for somebody and that person ran away with your money, but you still had obligations with other people who were involved in the execution of the work of the business. I mean, you. there are so many things that can easily bring you in debt. And sometimes it's not because you were just greedy and sloppy. Sometimes it's just that it happens to be a bad situation. It's an accident <laughs> that happened. And if there is an accident, you just have to know. Hopefully, if you don't die, you will survive. And so how do you go through that? How do you go through these difficulties? Because the thing is that there are so many people in our country now who are embracing doing something with their lives, with, their, with you know, the profession that they have. Uh, probably they've been they've been fired. Probably they went to school and they have never found a job. Probably you know they just have the passion to start something. And usually you will hit that rock. You will hit that difficulty when you start a business. They say that you don't need money to start business, which I subscribe to, but uh, you need money to run the business. And if you don't develop the business well becomes so much difficult you can struggle financially even when you want to jump to the next stage you can still be struggling not because the business is not good but <laughs> you may be unskilled in terms of finance you may not have the maturity to make the right decisions with the finances and and how do you go through how do you hold yourself until you have come to a point where the business starts to make some bit of money that can pay some watching for you that can pay some tnt I come, you know, all the things that businesses spend. So entrepreneurship is, is really difficult when the finances are on the ground. You know, when you are going through a lot of stress, a lot of pain, a lot of difficulties. When you hear anybody who is doing business, you know, entrepreneurs, for, for, for you know, for the, for the most part, when they say that they are going through a lot, really what it means is that they are going through a lot with the, with the money. Because when you have the money and you have it in excess, you can employ the right people. You can pay salary on time. You can get the you know a better car if the other one is not working. You can have money to support the businesses when even you are not being paid. But when the when you are still pushing, you know you're stretching yourself and the revenue is not coming in. That is what creates the financial difficulties. And this is the point where most people will give up because you have to take care of yourself. And if you have family, you have to take care of them. Those activities of life. The, the, the things that push life. They will not stop because your business is struggling. Your children will not stop eating or you yourself will not stop eating because your business is struggling. You know, the, 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 electric, the electricity bill from the office or from the house will not stop because your business is struggling. There are so many things that will still keep on running and they still have to be kept with money and yet your business is not having anything. You know, so how do you survive? How do you go through that? Because most people, almost all the businessmen that you see, even those with a lot of money, at the beginning, they had to endure this stage. They had to go through a lot of stress. They had to go through a lot of pain. And those who were able to stand and survive, some of, sometimes they will even crash the business you know, and go and start another one. And most businesses crash because of what? Most of them crash because there were financial difficulties. And that is what usually makes people, the difficulties will bring your character out. The challenges, the cash flow issues will usually bring your character out. And, and, and when people are hit like that, then they start to, you know, start to look at other ways and means to get money. And that also will shortchange the very skills that you need to become a very good entrepreneur because entrepreneurship thrives on what? On skill. Your ability to foresee, create a, create a product that the market needs. Your ability to understand what your, your what, you know, the team that you have. How do you get them involved and to keep pushing? 
if you cut the corners and you start you know sometimes somebody will just bring you something some money somewhere which you know that this is not a good money but because you're struggling because you're going through a lot of you know pain you would want to just take the money and usually the moment you compromise your values because business is built on values that's what you don't just cut everything you don't you don't just take anything you don't just over uh, overlook morals you don't just overlook character because you want money because this, the thing is that is not even though money is part of it but the money really is part is the result of your effectiveness it's a result of 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 the decisions that you're making rightly is the money will come because you you are you are you are you're you are being productive because you're being effective because you are, you, you are doing things rightly because you understand what you're doing because you're solving problems that's where the money will come so if if your drive is your vision is oh i just want to make money and any way that takes you to the money you are ready then you will compromise your character you compromise your morals you compromise your skill development you compromise the process and it gets to a point where you don't understand anything that is working because there's a part that has to develop you and sometimes if you started with nothing then the financials will will virtually uh, will most likely develop you i remember when we uh you know happy to start some of these things that we call business uh, uh, little little financial knowledge little financial skill we were ambitious and we were ready to do a lot of things we, did, we could not even link it to the implications the ramifications of our decisions because money is volatile money is like fire it catches anything it can destroy a lot within the shortest possible time and we're just picking to post money for projects that we have not even studied projects that we have not we have not even learned we did not even understand the team whoever was going to pay us but we, you know we just wanted to do something and so we push you pick your crowd your, your friend's money you pick your mother's money you pick your cousin's money you go and lock it somewhere and you know the people will give you all kind of stories and and, and and you know create a very huge hope for you until your money has locked there and they don't know what to do to get you back the money then you see that you are in a very difficult situation because you were naive, you because you didn't understand what you're doing. Most business difficulties, most bi most financial struggles are, are coming from a lot of the times uninformed financial decisions, uninformed financial decisions that we you, you make. You agree to pay that interest rate. You did not put anything down. You didn't understand your the people that you were working for. You were you probably employed a lot of people who were coming to work. Who didn't have anything to do you know so there are a lot of wrong financial choices and decisions that will proceed you know the difficulties that entrepreneurs uh, find themselves in in terms of uh, uh, finances and their struggles no matter the business that you're doing whether you are in farming whether you are in construction whether you are in real estate whether you are in uh, you're selling phones you're repairing computers a lot of the, the the decisions that you that will a lot of the struggles that will come financially there were wrong choices that you made before those struggles came and the wrong choices came because you didn't understand a lot of things that you were doing i i can tell you that a lot of the struggles that <laughs> we went through is because at the moment the moment that those things were happening we thought that we understood but after years, after months, then we, we know it told us okay to you that you really did not understand what you were doing. If you were, if you, if you were to do those things again, you will probably take a different part. You will probably ask more difficult questions. You will probably not even take those agreements that you took. You probably will not even work for that client because now you can understand that you should have asked this, 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 this before you even work for them. You know, so the, the financial struggles, they are not anything uh, anything that go beyond our understanding. They're, they're just that of our immaturity, you know. And so if you can um, probably look back and sit down and say that, okay, I have this debt to pay. I have all these difficulties. I have all these challenges. Um, what am I going to do differently? from what i did the other time you know so maybe you were construction man before you just go you look at the newspaper any tender in the newspaper you just follow it and you no, know, you go and buy the tender form and uh, the people the especially the, the government people 
will give you all kind of hopes. <laughs> the thing is that by the time you see the, the thing in the newspaper, it's likely that the project is gone. So any money that you are spending hoping to get that project is not true. You are just throwing that money away. And usually when you start that business, you don't have money. So you go and take somebody's money. You go to this microfinance and take something that you are going to pay 5%, 10% a month. If you were skilled, you will not make that decision. You will not go and take money to gamble on something that you're not sure. Because businesses that succeed, usually, businesses get to a stage where they are controlled, they are predictable, that's why they succeed. If you are just if you are just trying, you are still finding the model, you are still finding that that works. And that's not the time to go and pick somebody's money to gamble like that. And so you will see that a lot of the, your mistakes are coming from things that you were not sure. You didn't understand it. You didn't understand the numbers. You agreed to pay 10%, 5% to somebody. You didn't know. You agreed to pick somebody's money to go and develop a product or go and import something from China that you have no market for. You know, if you wanted to even go to, let's say, bring something from China to sell on the market, why don't you go through town to see if there are things there that you can try to develop your sales, your marketing skills there, and try to develop the market for it. Try to create the demand for it and maybe even supply it from the local market. And when you get to a point where the demand is so high, then maybe you can go to somewhere in China and bring and cut some. But you see, a typical understanding is that no, I want you know you have you have no understanding how to sell, you know and you don't understand the market, but you have some money, somebody has promised to give you money, you have picked some loan, you carry yourself, buy a ticket, go to China, you bring the things, they are here for two months, three months, you don't know what to do to sell it. You say business is difficult. Yes, because you're understanding the knowledge, what informed your choices were uninformed. And so, you know, you get you sooner or later, you see that uh, you're in difficult situation now. So debt is in front of you, credit is in front of you, and then the microfinance people are chasing you. The banks are chasing you. You pick money to into something. You put money into something that you didn't know. You did. You had not mastered because you had mastered it. You will know that the business itself must handle maybe 80 20 percent of the cost before you pick somebody's money to support it you know so a lot of our struggles are just coming from uninformed unskilled financial choices and financial decisions most often you did not even put the money in when you got the money you started to change your clothes and your shoes you change your office you relocated <laughs> you change your bedroom you spent a lot of the money that did not even go directly to the business these are some of the things that will bring you into financial difficulties as an entrepreneur. You know, wrong financial decisions. You are not spending directly to bring the cash flow. You just pick the money and you go somewhere. You employed more people than you needed. You bought the cars that you didn't need. <laughs> and then you are in difficulties. And then you are running away. Don't run away from the debt. If you happen to find yourself with owing people, Credit everywhere, difficulties, challenges, your phone is ringing every day and somebody is insulting you and asking for the money. You don't have to, you see, the, one of the things that you have to keep yourself in, uh, in and keep your mind in sanity is that if you don't take care, you will break and accuse yourself so much of the wrong choices and the decisions that you made. But that's not the point to kill yourself. That's not the point to break yourself. The point is, okay, I've made this, you know, I've created this mess. What do I do at this stage? I have to keep myself up. I have to keep my mind straight. And possibly I have to open the lines. Don't run away. Don't change your address. Don't change your phone. Even if they want to kill you, don't run away. Talk to them. Call them. Some of them, is to be very difficult for you to call. Some of the banks are here that some people even go to the bank, take the loan, and change the address. <laughs> the business is going to be successful because of the skills that you have developed, because of the character that you have built, because of the maturity that you are getting from all the mistakes and even your good decisions. You know, so if you run away, when are you going to fight back? So all the young men and the women who happen to have some difficulties with your business, don't run away. Don't don't ever have it in your mind that I will not, I, I will not pay this guy, I will, I will trick him. Don't. Because nature rewards, God rewards those who are diligent, those who are honest, those who can be depended upon, those who are trustworthy. You know, so the business is not, that's why the drive is not just about money, but you are trying to solve problems for society. 
you know so so the other thing is that you should be able to look around our economy our economy and see the the business areas that have prospects and that can be scaled and that can be profitable and that the cash flow supports you know because there are some businesses that you can see that the infrastructure the economy is not ready for it but there are so many places that uh, you can easily develop and grow with the little skills that you have probably you may not even depend so much on those but if you happen to be in that situation don't run away let people insult you let people say whatever they want to say if you're genuinely interested in building yourself as a business person don't run away stay stay focused stay take the heat because that is what separates you from the others. The people who, you know, some people are very good. They have gifts. They can build a house. They can build a product. They can develop a software. You know, they can sell products, but they cannot take the heat. And the difference between them, the difference between you turning your talent into business is your ability to take the heat, take the difficulty, stunt, the controversy around it, and provide leadership for yourself and for the for the idea for the business for the everybody which is connected to you developing that company you know so the difference so much is not is oh i can build a house i can i can drive so i can start a transport business that's not it I, you know i can what is it i can i can bake bread so i can start a bakery business that's not it it takes far more than that to start a bakery business because you can bake bread it takes far more than that to uh, to to start a software company just because you can develop the software. There is a lot of, <laughs> yes, entrepreneurs and products, and yes. Uh, so you have to have that strength. And that is what really push you into entrepreneurship in the first place. That is really push you into entrepreneurship in the first place. Your craziness, you are ready to connect. You're ready to fight, to stay. So that idea becomes profitable. So that idea uh, is in demand. And so it's not so much about the one who has a talent to build anything, but the one who has developed the strength to take the heat and not complicate their lives and not kill themselves and not worry so much because of the mistakes that they have made. Because the business, ah, you're going to make thousand mistakes. That's why if you look at it, the very so the, the, the people in school who are so much good the books and who never made mistakes usually are not those people who happen to end up owning businesses because the part that the other guy who was struggling in the class <laughs> the other guy who was studying other things beyond the textbooks in the class the guy who was testing who was trying a lot of things on campus the guy who was you know who go for this go for that connect people and still be able to go to the class he may not be the top of the class but he came with other skills he was trying to combine a lot of things together you know, and those develop his muscle to stay, to stay put when everything is not working. And that is why entrepreneurs have that. They have that resilience. They have that strength. They have, they have that thing. They are like rubber, you know. You pull it and it gets back. You pull it because they have to. That's the separator. So your financial struggles uh, came out as, as a result of your mistakes, of your immaturity, and maybe of your naivety or something like that. But they also come to stretch you and they also come to separate you from the others and uh, yes uh, you spoke of entrepreneurs and products kindly yes the, the kind of product that you bring to the market the kind the kind of business that you're building i think that you should look at how is able to change the dynamics of our, of our of our immediate economy what is really needed in our economy now if let's say you want to develop um uh, let's say a product that that has no demand in ghana you know you are you are working all right or that has that much little de uh, uh, demand you, you will stretch you will sweat but it, you may not be able to push that into a proper business because uh, the, the success of the entrepreneur sometimes has a lot to do with the kind of product the kind of business that they also start because there are factors that contribute to entrepreneurs success there are so many factors that contribute to um, the business model that is uh is likely to succeed you know, so it's not every business that is likely to succeed that much uh, because of the economy, because of the kind of people you work with, because of the systems, because even of the, the development of the economy, because of access to capital. There are so many things. Because even of you as a leader, what do you understand? Can you create that demand? Can you create that, uh, can you push that business into a state that it can grow on its own? 
can can you predict the growth for the business so there are many factors that are contributed that contribute to the success of a business in any given environment in any given country so for me if you see that there are a lot of things that can happen with the primary levels of our industries you know a great uh, trading uh, housing you know there are industries that are so much ready for the economy but now you can see uh, I have a cousin who has a camera is truly saying that he's developing photography business. There are a lot of guys who are developing photography business or an application to for entertainment and sports, those things. Yes, but I think that they are not really going to change the dynamics that much. You know, where where the growth is, I think, is uh, where, the, where we are importing much, where we are not developing so many things that are, that are really needed in our economy. You see that we, we, we still eat still eat we still you know bath we still use soap those things that we use daily if you focus on that it's likely that you will succeed it's like but if you're going to develop an application to send rockets to mars or somewhere you know you don't have that kind of infrastructure so you'll be wasting your time to to my mind i mean and it's obvious you'll be wasting a lot of time you know so look at businesses that can connect with your strength and that the market is ready for it that the level of the maturity of the workforce you can depend on because it's a whole different thing to build a business. It's not a business if you're the only one working there. It's not a business. You create that business to bring in a lot of people. And the more you can employ, the more <laughs> you are likely to succeed. If, you, if your business just want to employ two people, listen, it's, you're still evolving. If somebody is employing 2,000 people, you know that that person is building a business. If you just you and your son, you are trying. And you should be able to have that thinking to move it into into the, the the areas that you can start to do more without you being there and that is what it takes to be an entrepreneur and those can easily bring the financial difficulties because you're trying to stretch you're trying to stretch you're trying to develop and it takes a lot of effort and any of those decisions can easily put you in in, in, in difficulty you know your ignorance can easily take you go and take two hundred thousand from Barclays Bank or something like that. Before five years ago, we were taking them from UT. And UT was taking five percent, six percent a month. I remember we went to do some work at uh, Anglo Gold and we went to UT Bank, yeah? <laughs> six percent a month. Yeah. And the people delay. Ah, it was, it was tough. They will call you like you know you are going to die the next day. Can you handle that heat? Can you handle that difficulty? When the people you borrowed the money to do their work run away, when they are not paying you on time, when you can't pay the salary, because something about uh, employees is that they don't understand anything if you can't pay salary. Not in Ghana. Employees will disown you, will, will vilify you, will talk badly about you, they will lie to you if you can't pay salary. And they have no understanding that the people didn't pay. You went to the work. You went to do the work with them. They are aware that the people have not paid, but they don't care. And so that's the difference between the business owner, the entrepreneur, and the one who is working. Because the one who is working is telling you that he can't take that heat. That's why he's working with you. And so he's expecting you, even if the people have not paid you, he's still expecting you to pay him. <laughs> even though you didn't work 24 hours you know so when there's difficulty you are the one to deal with it and you have to understand that every decision that is being made in the business you are the one to deal with it when it doesn't work and usually when it doesn't work it comes with a lot of financial difficulties and financial uh, you know complications and uh, they run into debt and so you will see your phone being called some people will call you to him and ask you are you still sleeping or you are looking for his money for him, you know, and you can easily become, you can easily be portrayed as a very bad person, as a very dishonest person, because when you owe somebody and you can't pay, you are easily seen as a very bad person. You know, they will, they don't even want you to eat. They don't even want you to have anything because you owe them. And, and, and I don't know the, the, the bankruptcy things in our, in our economy, because I think that our economy really is still colonial economy. It does not support entrepreneurship and creativity that much they are just talking maybe they will be able to change it maybe they are changing it let's hope but as it stands now it does not because if you open a business now all the state institutions are on you they don't even give you briefing space to start anything and to fight AMA will come there GRA will come there everybody will come there yet the business is just evolving it's an idea you are trying the other day you were in the house 
thinking of what to eat. Now you decide to start a business to at least feed yourself. They say that you owe them something. <laughs> and it will show up. <laughs> so it's crazy. It's crazy. Employees will marry said employees will even insult you and show respect. They will never remember. No, no, people don't remember the good that you have done for them when you're in shit. Um, when you're in difficulty, sorry. When you're in difficulty, nobody will remember. The, 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 even the employee who came to cry and beg you to give him place to work with. Yeah. When you have difficulties, they will not be part. They will insult you. They will, they, and they don't even want you to become anything. It's so difficult. That's the fact. And uh, our people, I'm sorry to say. You cannot trust them in difficulties. That is my experience. And it doesn't matter the relationship. It can be family, it can be friends. It doesn't matter. People will disown you quick when your business is in, is in trouble. And so those are the words of the entrepreneurs. This is not business class. This is not MBA class. This is the reality on the ground. You know, those who have gone through the processes. That's why if you have built a business for, with some level of uh, vision and credibility, you see that the people will be sober. Anybody who has gone through this, they will be sober. The arrogance will go. The, the difficulties and the struggles will bring you down. They will humble you. And so that's why when you see somebody trying to be arrogant, I know that they did not go through the process. When, some, when, when, when somebody says that he's doing business and he's splashing money everywhere, I know that that person is lying. That person is living a fake life. Because the difficulties before you start to get the surplus, the process that you have to endure, the pain, the challenges you will not be proud of yourself i tell you if you look at if you look back and look at all the wrong decisions that were so obvious yet you are not intelligent not to have made them you'll be humble enough not to be cocky and you will see the value of people and that's why you see people who also will one or two people will stay with you through thick and thin and that's how you see the value of such people as well so the entrepreneur and his financial difficulties from day one he, he the moment you start that business when you are working where you are working, they, they, you don't worry about the salary, you don't worry about the electricity, you don't worry about the people, you don't worry about the internet, you don't worry whether they don't pay the work that you have done or not, you don't worry about a lot of things. When you start in your business, you're going to worry about everything. When they are waiting, when it's 25th, 27th, 28th, and they are asking for their salary, when you were working for somebody, nobody, you don't even care, you just look, you're just waiting for you to get the alert. When you get the business, <laughs> and you are responsible. You are not thinking of the month coming to close, you know, because you are not even waiting for salary. And you are going to work for a very long time for you to even put your system, your systems in place to pay yourself. When they, when a lot of people say, you oh, know, pay yourself, pay yourself. Where is the money to pay yourself when you start? Where is the money? No matter how intelligent you are, where is the money? They have not paid you. How could you pay yourself? And yet, if you have employees, you have to take care. And that is what you develop. And the moment you're able to provide the leadership and improve your managerial skills, that is the leverage that you have over the rest. And if you're able to build yourself in terms of endurance and courage to keep going and not to be ashamed of your mistakes and not to worry so much about what people think about and focus on the business and do the best you can with the best of character, that's the point that you start to become separate from the others. And those things that you develop, nobody can take from you. And for me, when somebody is just saying, oh, we're coming. No, you are not competing with anybody per se. You're stretching yourself because you are so different from the others. What it takes, the skill that you have developed because of these struggles and pain, you'll be shocked. And so Marie said that the employees will disown you and then destroy you. Yes, we have had a lot of them. People will lie and cheat and go and say all kind of things. <laughs> Sometimes there could even be people who came in as if they were partners with you and so those are the things that we you have to deal with and then uh, when you are when you are in the difficulty uh keep yourself up create a relationship with people who have been through this people who have built businesses and gone through this process because when you talk to them it's not unique you're not the only one who's going through that so don't curse yourself don't become uh pain and bitter because you are going through the face keep because there will be another time that it starts to light up there will be another time that the business will start to make sense. There will be another time that the same business that was creating a lot of problems, the same business starts to make sense and the same business starts to create a whole different opportunities, a whole different avenues for you because you went through the process. All right, so don't run away. If somebody trusted you to give you money and you destroy it, don't run away from that person. And never have it in your mind not to pay the debt. Pay it, no matter how long it takes. Go and pay them. And tell them you're sorry. 
you did you made a lot of mistakes no and we have been doing that you know just to get because sometimes the business sometimes the business is creating pain challenges difficulties out of that another idea will come out of that you meet somebody who, who introduce you to another thing out of that you get something different the same business that was created but so many people have been kept back because of these difficulties because they didn't expect it and they thought that they were so much intelligent so they could not bring themselves to the realization that hey this is business <laughs> you're not writing as a this is real life business with a lot of difficulties and a lot of them will get into their finances and uh, financial struggles and the struggles can bring a whole lot of stress on your health can bring a whole lot of stress on your family sometimes on your children it can bring a whole lot of stress even on the marriage and so that's why sometimes you see that the marriage is breaking because people cannot take the stress you see the other way the, the way to deal with the stress is to know that you have to up yourself above the stress which means that you have to think differently how you beat the difficulties and the challenges is how you think if you think of yourself as a victim if you think of yourself as how could i do this how could i make this mistake instead of thinking of yourself as somebody who is evolving who is trying who can create another possibility somebody who tried to do something that most people will ever, never dare to do if you put yourself that way and you're ready to learn and see that it's not so much unique with you then you overcome those yes the struggles will be there but then you now your your thinking is so huge it's bigger the finances will be there so big. and listen if the financial difficulties protract it's because the business is also not bringing anything so look at the business as well can you do more because the moment the way to pay that is for you to get income is for you to get money that is the way to pay that whether it's your money or the business is generating the money so in the midst of the difficulties think stretch don't get don't get stuck with just one idea that you have grappled with for 20 years and it's not bringing anything can you dare to start another business can you dare to start another thing can you partner with another person don't be afraid of the mistakes don't be afraid of the difficult don't be afraid of the challenges you're trying it's so difficult to build business in a developing economy where a lot of things are volatile for instance let's say you are bringing some cars from another country you know and the dollar was 4.5 and maybe you change hundred thousand and they give you that the equivalent the dollar you send the money there you came back the dollar is now four point you know five point something you lost you, you lose that money maybe 10 20 percent of it is gone just because of the movement of dollar that one you didn't create anything it's just the, the reality of you doing business in our kind of economy but there are also other things that are so much that you can run that there are other things that can favor you in at the same time doing business and because some of it is because if you decide to do the best of business if you decide to be prompt to pay attention if you decide to be effective and efficient in your business activities you will be so much uh, above a lot of people your co customers are calling you and you're picking you're giving the best of customer service you're thinking you're thinking you're bringing the services to how the culture understands it if you can do that you are above a lot of the people if you can discipline yourself as well when you start to go through the financial difficulties and you start to get over that start to discipline yourself you know start to discipline yourself study the people that you do business with and when the money starts to come in be moderate think well because the business without money <laughs> the business with you which is struggling financially is crazy business <laughs> and it, you can't go through that forever you know so once the business starts to make profit once the business starts to make sense to you starts to focus on the cash flow don't waste the money because you got into that problem because you were wasteful because you are not thoughtful because you're not diligent with the money so now the business because the business will turn if you keep at it and it's focus and you keep stretching yourself it will turn around it will take that i can guarantee you if you stay because if you run away then you cannot be an entrepreneur if you run you cannot be an entrepreneur you have to stay and that's the number one skill that you have to have you have to stay and keep pushing and be flexible and be dynamic and you have to maneuver and look at it you cannot get stuck with one product if it's not working for 10 years you cannot get stuck with one business if it's not working for 20 years that employee has been stealing from you you may, you may have to let that employee go so there are so many things that you have to do uh, to go through the phase. But one thing is that you cannot run away from the debt, from the financial difficulty. Stay with it.
put yourself because that is what separates you from the others most people don't want trouble that's why they don't enter into, many, into business you know but once you enter into business you see the world from a whole different 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 point whilst you're waiting for salary somebody else is thinking how do i pay salary the world is not the same for these two people <laughs> so my name is Sabine Dako. I'm talking about entrepreneurs and their financial struggles. Don't run away because of the debt. Your business will create some debt for you. Every business goes through that phase. Don't let that one make you compromise your vision, your values, and your ethics. The business, the foundation of it is your character. If people can depend on you and what you say, that itself is an asset. So don't change yourself because of the financial difficulties. And be committed to the future of the business. Build it as a business. Don't just create something for you alone. Build it as a business. And that means that you are creating opportunities, you are creating, you are creating employment, and it's going to be tough, but you have to do it. Now, you have to understand the cost of financing, you know, in our, in our banks. It's crazy. You see all the banks that collapsed is because they were giving money to people at a very high cost that the people could not pay. You know, some of them were wasteful, wasteful, yes. But if you give contractor uh, 100,000 CDs and you're charging 50 to 70% a year, no contractor can do that for five years and still be committed. It's not true, especially if they are staying realistically with the prevailing uh, rate on the market. They cannot. No, no construction will give you 20% if you're that much even diligent. And so when, when they started to give this kind of law at a very high cost, what, was, what, what were they expecting? They were expecting that it would not work. So the inefficiency in you and inefficiency in yourself will create the problems eventually. The moment we start to do things rightly and we start to package things well, be less, be less, um, uh, uh, be, be less ambitious in terms of your profit margins. Give yourself moderate. If you get 10% growth a year, 20% growth a year, work with it. Grow with it. You don't have to look at, oh, I want to, I want to make 100% profit. That's where you are ready to do anything to make profit. And that will end you in these kind of problems. If you were that much careful with your, or that much conservative with your interest, with your profit margin, then you will think straight. Then you, somebody tells you, come and take this uh, loan at this cost. You know that your profit is that little, so you will not take that loan. You start to think rightly. You know, you start to think rightly. If you think beyond just your self-interest, you start to think and make right decisions with your business. And if anybody brings anything, you are looking at the character. If anything shines so good, you are looking at it. When somebody calls you to say that there's a project here, my brother is a minister somewhere, bring 20,000, you know that, listen, I'm going to work maybe 500,000 to make 20,000. I'm not going to give you 20,000. And this kind of thinking will save you from a lot of difficulties and problems. And businesses that are sustainable, that are scalable, are run with skill, with committed people, with people who are ready to grow. Because you are, you, you, the business is not going to grow beyond your skill and beyond your expertise, you know, beyond, beyond your character. So you are going to grow gradually like that. And you are, you, you are careful with not being so much greedy. Because the moment you shift into the greed, <laughs> you are gone. You will be tricked. They will con you. Because you want to follow everything. You are only thinking. Every decision, you must make profit on it. So you don't care. And that's why they get you. And that's why they will get you. That's why you run into debt. So when, when you go to the you go to the bank, they are, they are saying, oh, we can give you the loan. It's 10%. Then you see that, no, I cannot pay 10%. The business is making 10% profit a year. So why can I pay 10% a month? It's not sustainable. And the moment you think like that, you will not take that loan. You go back and, and, and do your calculations as well. And that's why you start to win as a business person, because you're developing gradually. You know, so, so these are some of the things that will help you if you want to build a business and, and go through the financial struggles. Because the financial struggles are reality. Don't let anybody deceive you because you are evolving, because you're thinking, you're taking the cups, you know, you're taking the things out of your eye. You don't see there's debt on you. When you start a business, it's like you know, somebody that you have put in debt. Now you get up like that, you want to clean yourself. You're cleaning. The mistakes will come. You're going to make thousands of them. But after a while, you start to get intelligence. You, you, you start to get some kind of, you know, you start to develop your intelligence. You start to know which decision to take, which decision not to take. And the moment you get onto that uh, path, that your decisions start to work, that's where the business starts to work well. 
and then you see that you can manage the finances you can manage the people you can predict the growth you can control a lot of things you can stay out and the business is working because you have gone through the processes and so don't run away from the debt the moment you run away from the people you owe the moment you run away and start to lie you are shortchanging the development the very development that you need for that business to work you know, and that's why you need a lot of confidence you need a lot of courage you need a lot of you cannot be weeping and not be running to profit to pray for you because you owe no <laughs> you owe not because it's a demon you owe because you made bad decisions and bad choices and because you didn't know and so the moment you start to educate yourself you will start to make the right decisions and you live in you live in, in moderate you know you live moderate you live within your your means you grow the business as the business grows once you start to get money Live large, and if you, even if you want to get, buy jet, buy jet. That's your money. Nobody can control the money that you sweat. You know, you you, 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 you work for. Live large, but the moment you don't have that essence, start to grow your business like that. Because it takes a lot of effort to grow business in our country. It takes a lot of effort to build business and build yourself as an entrepreneur, and create employment, and do it with some kind of honesty and some some kind of vision some kind of credibility you have to go through a lot to build yourself that way so my name is Ogenda Ko. i'm trying to run it to close and i'm saying that the struggles will come the financial struggles will come everyone you see everyone you hear even in where structured economies entrepreneurship is not that simple it's crazy and you have to you have got to be crazy to be one anyway <laughs> because it's not the norm when everybody is buying nice shoe you cannot buy nice shoe because you are thinking of this baby all the time. You are, you are thinking it's growing. You cannot buy a nice car. You have to think of your workers. You cannot buy a nice house because you have to, you know, build the business first. You have to build the business first before you even think of yourself. The business must grow, must get stability, must get foundation before you can start to even take anything from it. And that is opposite the general thinking of a lot of people. A lot of people, they start to work, they get money, they go and buy land. They want to build a house. They want to buy a nice car. They want to go and do a big wedding. That is how generally a lot of people think. If you're an entrepreneur, you cannot think like that. The moment you think like that, you fall into those financial difficulties. And then you will give up on yourself. You give up on your dream. And then you'll be confused. And the thing about dream is that it does not go away. If you have tested business, it's difficult for you to say that I'm not going to do it. <laughs> you'll be thinking. That's why you meet some people. You say, oh, you know, I tried it. It didn't work, but I'm still trying. Because it doesn't go that much fast. You know, so the difficulties, stay with the process, don't give up, build your character, don't run away from people you owe, never think that you will not pay the debt, pay the debt, and stay with the process, be more moderate, be less ambitious with your margins and profit, and start to do things rightly, because up until that, you are not building a business, and the business is not just you, you are building a business to employ people, that's how businesses grow creating opportunities and look at the market look at the economy the things that you can do and go gradually do them do them if you have to start a cocoa, cocoa farm or something start them if you have to start a maybe cassava farm or something like that start them any business that is sustainable and most businesses that depend on the economy that you don't have to change a lot of dollars to go and bring something those businesses have better chance of succeeding in our economy most businesses that you're not doing a lot of things with government government they you have to go and cry and weep and weep all the time before they give you something that business has very little future you know you just have to be a connection man all the time you have to cheat lie you know, do all kind of things but businesses that are within your control do that thrive with your creativity with your expertise serving solving local problems solving relevant challenges in the economy those businesses start to do well you look at Dangonte and those guys you see they are they are producing things that the market the market needs producing you know rice and, and cement and, and things like that the market needs so there is constant uh, demand for that so think like that and stop wasting so much time trying to build all these things in the thin air that nobody is ready for so the young guys be practical get to do something that you will every one of them wants to produce some kind of movie quick that will bring them into fame that fast trying to produce a music and things like music don't solve any problem have not developed us that much so you, you entertain yourself after you have worked but like we are entertaining ourselves and leaving the work you know and those things are not bringing development the countries that are developing are countries that are solving rare problems in technology in agriculture in construction in finance you know in education in health they are solving all kind of problems they're developing all kind of products 
They are coming up with all kind of processes, and that's why they're developing. Our, inter our entrepreneurs must also think like that. Look at your economy. What is it that you can do? And give yourself some kind of patience and some kind of time and stretch yourself and go for development. The problem that is putting fear in you, the financial difficulties that you have, you're only afraid because your strength is weak. You're only afraid because your thinking is small. Don't let any difficulty put fear in you. <laughs> Don't. The moment that fear, that problem scares you, you know, fight back. Fight back. And you see that your ability to stay will make you a successful business person. Your ability to stay, you start to understand the economy, you start to understand yourself, you start to become better. And that's why you win and develop, develop the character because it's currency. Character is an asset. Don't run away. Don't cheat. Stay with it. It's tough. It's difficult. It's crazy. You'll be misunderstood. You'll be laughed at. People will vilify you. Don't worry about it. It's just part of the fun. As a matter of fact, it's part of the fun. You know, do you think that the president is worried that people are insulting him? No, he knew it. He knew that this is part of the work. You know, so if if you are going to work in the kitchen, you know that it's not ice which is there. It's no, it's not air conditioning. It's fire. So the moment you condition yourself like that, none of those things will break you that quickly. You will be able to stay put, fight back, and continue to push yourself through the process. And that's why you succeed, and that's why you you start to win because you get to a point. Maybe you're dealing with one million cities a whole year. Then you start to see that the business that you started that you are struggling, and that business is going into millions. And you start to grow with it and that you start to create opportunities and you, who knows the next minute you are in nigeria the next minute you're in south africa the next minute you're all over because you stayed with the process if you if you truncate the, 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 the process you will not go you eventually give up on yourself so don't run away stay with the process build with vision build with character and one thing that will separate you from everybody is your ability to stand when everything is falling <laughs> and if you happen to fall with everything, get back again. If you have to start 10, 20 businesses for you for you to work, stay. Don't run away. There are people who are looking for jobs everywhere. So what's wrong? If you're a business person and you start, it doesn't work, start again. And the challenge is stay with them. Stay with them. Don't run away. And so thank you very much for watching. My name is Obeda Ako, Entrepreneurs and Financial Struggles. Those are realities. You go through a lot. Some of them have struggled so much, they marriage failed. Some of them have struggled so much, they gave up. Some of them have struggled so much, the family has disowned them. <laughs> Some of them have struggled so much, they have created so many enemies, from former employees to partners to everybody. Some of them have struggled so much because they, now don't, no bank wants to even deal with you. You're a good man, but you have made so many mistakes. It's the entrepreneurship. Maybe the vehicle was wrong. Maybe you have to look at the vehicle again. Maybe you are using Tigo or Tico or something. Maybe you should be using Toyota Corolla or something. Change. Look at the, the kind of business you're doing. Look at the economy. Is it sustainable? Is it good? Because the business must thrive on your management, on your creativity, on your discipline. There should be a drive in the market for what you're doing. And that's how you think. You think of your business as something that can connect to the development of a country as well. And the moment you have that kind of high passion and high sense of vision, nothing can stop you. That one I can tell you. If you have that kind of passion and vision, higher sense, linking your business to the development of your country, of your continent, you can't stop. Because then you have a higher sense of purpose to succeed. So you go through everything to succeed. Nothing will scare you. That one I can tell you. Politicians cannot stop you. <laughs> People who are trying to destroy business cannot stop you because you started the business yourself. And until you give up, nothing can give up on you. So thank you very much uh, for watching. So stay with the process, don't give up. Don't lie. You become better. The financial struggles will be over and you become a better business person. And you start to use your, your brain and your creativity. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Blackie.